Hey, YouTube land, whatever I'm supposed to start this as, I'm not quite sure. But this is my first video blog about myself, which already is kind of a hard subject for me to talk about. Um, for those that are just wondering why I should talk about myself and put it online, very good question. <laughs> um, my name is Jax. I am now 37 years old, and I have known that I have been trans, female to male, since I was 18 or 19 years old. I am still pre -t. I do have a legal first and middle name change. Um, I was not born Jax, um, and I do try as much as I can to live as a male. I have presented male since 1998, <laughs> um, even when I still thought I was just a lesbian at the time. I've worn men's clothes since before then, even in high school. Um, I just always had my hair in a ponytail. I was a tomboy as a kid, and it was said with disdain <laughs> by some family members that tried to shove me in dresses and get mud off of me. Um, in case it needs to be said, because it'll probably come up at some point, um, I was mostly raised by my father, in a way, and his, he's one of those no pain, no gain, push emotions away kind of, kind of guys, um, and my two older brothers. My parents divorced when I was very young. My dad remarried someone for a while, who is the mom who raised me and is still in my life, even though they divorced when I was in fourth or fifth grade. Um, so I spent a lifetime running after older brothers and a father that I adored, idolized, and tried to be like. Um, so for me, I've just always been me, but going back now, there's some hints or clues <laughs> that this has always been me. That it isn't a sudden choice. It's not a decision I've ever taken lightly. Um, and including starting this video. Um, the main reason that I am starting a video blog is that because I have, for the first time, called a therapist and left a message to hopefully pursue therapy in the hopes of getting put on testosterone. I really feel that that is the next step that I need. Um, it's something that I have put off for other people. It is something I have put off because I do have chronic health issues that will come up at a later time. And myself and my family were honestly worried if continuing my transition in any way from surgery to testosterone would make my health situations worse. Which were valid at the time. But... Because of my health, I used to be really, really skinny, and I had a life surgery that made it easier for me to eat, and I gained a lot of weight. I don't give myself too much trouble for that because I was finally enjoying food for the first time in my life, because I've had this chronic illness since I was 14. But when I did that, I gained weight in areas that are more feminine. Uh, my hips are a little hippier. Um, I gained a butt, <laughs> which most people when they talk about it don't complain about it. I don't look at the thing, couldn't tell you. Um, but especially my chest. Because even though whenever I was 120 to 110 pounds, I was still a size C, but I could still hide them fairly well. 
And unless I talked, I presented mail all the time when I wasn't even trying. And so now, even with a binder and my voice, which I am lowering some <laughs> because it is my biggest trigger other than my chest. Um, I work in retail and I am mammed day and night by customers. And it's been getting harder and harder to take in a way. And even though I do work for a very progressive company that does support the LGBT community, uh, gave money to Orlando victims, like put out company-wide memos to um, join Pride Parades in June, Love Gap Inc. <laughs> um, I still, living in the area that I do, in a no-fault state, which means I can be fired for any reason, worry about correcting customers. I've done it a few times here and there, but I tend to not. I tend to not very much, and if ever. Some employees have done it for me <laughs> several times, um, without my knowledge. Um, but all my managers are amazing, as well as the associates in the store that I work with. Um, I've, um, without it being told to me that it has happened to where uh, people that have worked for the company for a little while have told new hires about me, <laughs> um, especially if they hear them call me she, because um, I notice the next time I'm around that person they don't, which is great. It's amazing uh, to get that much support where you work is a blessing. I know plenty of people that can only be themselves off the clock on vacations, um, at home, <laughs> only at home. They can't even step out on their front porch in the small towns that they work, they live in, because it's such a regressive community that they live in. Um, that's the state. I live in Missouri. Sorry, um, that's the state, literally, that I live in. Um, Even the bathroom issue has always been an issue. Even when I wasn't trying trying to be male and I walk into a bathroom. Um, <laughs> funny enough, in 1998 or 99, I was shopping with my girlfriend at the time and someone who is a drag queen, um, not in makeup at all, <laughs> actually had a day's worth of little stubble. <laughs> and... Um, I was, I still call her she cause that's what she prefers. She walked with us into the women's restroom and no one said a word to her, but a little old lady tried to kick me out of the Walmart bathroom. So we all kind of laughed because it was the first time I, I had dealt with that. Like it was comical at the time, mostly because of, <laughs> there was a technical biological male that was with us and no one batted an eye and He's like over six feet tall too. Like, <laughs> kind of would have been the odd one out, but no, it was me. I've always been the odd one out, I guess. I tend to ramble, especially since I'm not exactly sure how to do this. I will later on start having an outline kind of off to the side to myself to keep me on track because I'm really, really bad <laughs> about being off track for those that are watching that know me personally really bad. <laughs> um, can get lost in my own stories for sure. And I'm kind of stalling myself to make sure I'm covering everything I want to cover. Um, I also want to try to do this to where I don't edit them. Um, so they're real. So that anyone that might not understand still 
and has a spark or just a 1% chance of curiosity, you can see this and learn that this is not an easy process. That nothing about this is easy. Ever. It hasn't been. And it definitely won't be going forward. But. I'm willing. To share. What happens. Good or bad. Honestly. And openly. So maybe to help somebody else. Because there have been plenty of other men that have opened up their lives, good and bad, and have helped me to get to this point. So, this is not about attention. This is not to become YouTube famous. I don't care about those things. I just want to be known as a good man with a loving heart. That's all I want in my life. A man who was a good friend was loving and giving. Man being key. So that's where I stand today. And if I can help someone else who is struggling just as hard as I have been for this many years. I'm gonna do it. If exposing myself can help one more person, it's worth it. If exposing myself educates one more person, to me it's worth it. And also, it's good for me. And that's what this is about. It's about me. Which has been the hardest part of this. It's to do this for myself. To put, be selfish, to put myself first, to love myself enough to be who I want to be, who I am, and who I really, really need to be now. So, if you stuck around this long, thank you. Um, I'm not sure what else to say right now. I'm not sure, I would assume my next video will be about talking to the counselor, hopefully getting set up an appointment. I'm hoping. Um, it seems that she's out of the office today. I called twice, left a message the first time, which once again, big step. Um, last summer, I started making calls um, from recommended numbers, even this off, even the same person. I could not leave a message every, just dialing every number. It took me half an hour between calls. I would just sit and cry and I didn't know why. So this time, when I made this decision, it just clicked. I actually saw a fellow trans brother's video that he posted and it just spoke to my soul. It, it broke through my mind and I, I don't know why, but I'm thankful. I'm so thankful for that one little video. It changed my life. Once again, if I can help someone get that feeling, I'm going to do it. I've been entirely talking way too long. <laughs> so if you stuck around, thank you. If you come back, watch another video. Thank you. This is... start to a new life. Still my life. Still me. But it's new. All new. Everything is new right now. This clarity in my head to do this is new. Being so secure of myself and being confident enough to do this is new. To have so much love and support here and there, I've always had it, but to a new level, 
in my personal relationship, that's new. And that has helped a lot in this. So, out with the old and in with the new. See you next time, guys.